Very few things in someone's personal beliefs signify as much to them and about them as the talisman they choose to wear around their neck. Most of us along the path of the North choose a Thor's hammer, Milner, or a Gungnir, Odin's spear, the Valknut, along with a few other items. <clears throat> so I wanted to talk about how I treat and view my personal talisman, which is my Thor's hammer. My Thor's hammer is a cast of one from Skane, from I think around 500 AD, that was uh, kept at the Swedish Royal Museum. And I got a cast done in bronze, and then I got that bronze done in gold, eventually added diamonds and sapphires. <clears throat> Found the gold I had, it really didn't cost me all that much before you start thinking anything. Anyway, <clears throat> this is a symbol of who I am. It's ostentatiousness I use to separate me from bigots, because bigots are often just undereducated. Undereducated usually has less money, so instead of a little tiny pewter hammer, I have a big gold one. It also is indicative of where I come from. We're very flashy in New Jersey. And it's also gold and diamonds and sapphires that have been handed down to me from my family. From my ancestors, the same people that gave me my name and my honor to pass on. They entrusted me with all these things. So this is very important to me. Now, here's where it comes <clears throat> into question for you all and how I treat it. Many people blood their hammers. So when you shed a little bit of blood, you put it over there. But you don't want to do it in, in anger. It needs to be blood that's been auspiciously shed, like for someone you love. Now, another ritual I like to do is as I travel around the northern world, the first time I get to the Arctic Ocean, the first time I got to a fjord, I dip my hammer and I bathe it in there. And they say, and I don't know how much I believe this, but they say diamonds can magnify spiritual energy. They say sapphires express calmness, but diamonds can also magnify negative energy. That's why it's important. Don't blood or don't think of your hammer in a negative time. Don't use blood that's out of anger because even it has no effect, it's what you're thinking about. It's your meditation, it's your ritual as you're going about it. And anything in life that's going to better you, you want to be based in peace and tranquility. So I bathe it in the water, dip it in the water. It's almost like a, a naming ceremony. And I often let the sun absorb it, let the, let the diamonds reflect. Or I'll sit it over a grave of one of my pets or one of my loved ones. I'll just kind of sit there as I think and quietly reflect on those that I've lost. Then finally, when I run, I'll oftentimes wear it underneath my shirt close to me, let it be soaked with the sweat, because that sweat is a representation of my aggression, my anxiety, my frustration, all leaving my body. I physically man manifest the things that hurt me into physical pain. And that physical pain is destroyed by my running. You know, it better, I'm bettered by my running. I'm taking negative aspects, negative feelings, I'm destroying them. I'm embracing the physical pain cause. I'm using that to motivate me to become a better person. So therefore, I'm trying to instill positive energy back within this. And like I said, I don't know if I believe in any of those things. But so much of what is religion and what is faith is ritual. And if this is nothing else, then providing me a daily ritual, a daily practice or meditation to think about my loved ones, those I've lost, and just how to be a better person, then my talisman, my hammer, is infinitely powerful because it is allowing me to express myself in a positive mean, means that promotes growth and self-betterment.